okay, now hold on, wait. When did Jesus write an epistle? Uh oh. Uh oh. Traditions huh. of men. He didn't, but he yeah. taught he taught things, right? And those were things that he taught and some things huh. Not odd. Some things that were taught were tradition down, were specifically weren't written down. Huh. Mm -hmm. That's what Saint John said. Well, what do you mean? Saint John said he didn't write everything down. It'd be too much to write down. Uh oh. And also Saint Paul says to hold fast to the tr traditions that have been passed down either by what? Word of mouth or by letter. No, that's in front of men. That's in yeah, front of men. I don't... Look at the context. See? No, the Bible <laughs> says, that to be let saved. any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. Like so that's after that's the like the IFB. Catholic Church. That's correct. Because the Catholic Church uh, goes against uh, Christ. Because Christ, they call no um, man your father. But the leader of their whole thing is called Father. Wait, 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 wait. Do you love your parents there, Richard? Uh, no, I hate them. Hate your parents? <laughs> He's lying. He's lying. He, he knew what I was. I hate. Do. I hate. I hate my parents. Honor your father. Uh, honor your hey, father. Hey, listen. I do. Lying, I, I honor lying, them hey, listen, by hating them. Lying's still a sin. But anyway, continue. I honor them by hating them. Dude. That's an oxymoron. <laughs> no. Okay. Do you pick up a cross sometimes and follow Jesus? Like he's walking toward the east or something. Yeah. I you actually grab a. You have a big old cross at home. You pick it up and like walk with it. No, the Bible says to be crucified with Christ. You know, we're supposed to put on the new man. In baptism. Daily. Oh. Huh. No, putting on the new man is an everyday so, thing. Here, 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 watch. The point is this: you know when it says to hate your parents, it's not literal. Why do you think it's literal when it says, do not call any man upon the earth father? You'll call your biological father father. Why? Because he's your actual father. I know what you believe because that's what Steven Anderson says. He also says, don't call anyone ra anyone rabbi. But rabbi, yeah, I mean, but that just means teacher. But do you No, rabbi means teacher? master. The, rabbi, the word rabbi literally means master. You should go ask a Jew. <laughs> you? I think, I think rabboni means master or something. Rabbi means master. Okay. No, rabbi so, means teacher. No, it means master. Read, no, read, read the Talmud yourself. Okay, okay. Well, regardless, when Jesus says, "Call no, no man on earth father," that's not literal. That's called speaking hyperbole. He's not okay, and because I mean, I know that you call your biological father father, and you wouldn't be going against what Jesus said. I don't call him. Father is a spiritual title because yeah, he's been called well, a then, rabbi. Well, well, spiritual well, then, title. Well, then why does Saint Paul refer to himself as a spiritual father to the Corinthians? Uh, yeah, hmm. he refers to himself as like, as like a parable. He's saying wait, that. So he, wait, wait, wait. So he's not he, actually a spiritual father to the Corinthians. Dang! How dare he do that? How about when God Himself said, "Slaves, obey your masters." Just call no one master. Masters? They got multiple gods? What are you trying to say? Sounds it's like talking it's about as a religious title. Ma no, where does it say that? Because he just got done telling us like, to call no man rabbi, know. which is a religious title. Be ye not so, called oh, no, this, this, Hold this. on. Hey, what did you just say? It just means master. That doesn't have to be a religious title. It just means master. Sounds like you pick and choose. Sounds like I didn't you have say a that. weird interpretation no, no, no. based on what The whole you thing is least. talking about religious titles. It doesn't don't, say Don't that. be called this. Don't be called this. It doesn't say. It says call no man upon the earth father. That's yeah. what it says. Why would it? Why would he word it like that? And then he goes on to say, be you not called rabbi. But how do you know it just has to do with re um, religious titles? What is inherently sinful about calling your spiritual leader father? Tell me. In this whole chapter, he's rebuking the Tell Pharisees, what is the evil religious about it. leaders of the day. What? Tell me what's evil about it. Tell what's me evil what about is, calling what your is, own father father? Nothing. No. What's evil about calling a spiritual 
like a pastor, Father. What's evil about that? Because it's a title for God. It's not no. for them. What is evil intrinsically? Not oh, because because verse. you're saying that no. because you're that saying name? what does it do? What does it, it cause anybody? It is evil to compare what anyone. Does it cause to anybody? It, it causes harm to the name of God because it's a title for Wait, God. God is harmed when we say that. It causes harm to the cause of Christ. <laughs> How? How does it like inhibit the gospel by calling someone father? I don't want to have to keep asking questions because we should just get to the core and get straight to the point and say, you know, I have no idea. Because you never say I don't know. Have you noticed that? I do say I don't know. Yeah, like I don't know how big God is or something. I mean, but it's like you have an answer. No, I said I said I didn't know. Like, what about the Galatians five? You just left. You just left VC. No, but what? Galatians 5, you just left the VC when I brought that no, up. I didn't even, I didn't, we didn't even talk about that yet. Well, we were talking about that, and you just left. Galatians 5, like, what? like, all right, Josh, I'll call you. I was like, whoa, what? <laughs> because it debunks one saved, always saved, man. Go, Galatians 5, what? What verse? 19 to 20. Or 19 to 21. Now, with the works of the flesh are manifest, adultery, will fornication, out. uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, envyings, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations... Wrath, striving, seditions, heresies, envyings. You know what envy is? Yes. Yeah, drunkenness. Or to not be drinking too much of that communion wine. Revelings and such like. Of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in times past, that they which do such things. Did it say practice or do? Practice, do, whatever. It's the same thing. But yeah. Okay, so like an active, but, you know, thing. So basically, if anyone does any of these one time, then you could say that they practiced that or they've done that. No. Right? They have done, but not they are not doing. Those who practice didn't say those who have practiced. Didn't say that. Okay, well, I think you lie still practice? every day. I think if no, you I think that you're not practicing lying, dude, you deceive yourself. I don't yourself. do that. Maybe you don't if lie. you lie all damn day, you can't put that on me. I don't lie. I think you do. I, think you Dude, I tell the truth and it offends people. What are you talking about? It gets, it gets me in trouble sometimes. Here, it's you and locks. What? True. <laughs> what? So tell me what, what lies do I tell? Um, uh, Richard. Well. Since you know me so well. Like you're trying to find fault with another person so that you can interpret this verse weirdly. You see? Like, let's just say I was a liar. Would that would that make this passage void? That would mean that you. That would mean that you're going to go to hell according to your interpretation. Well, yeah, it would. Yeah, it would. Well, Josh said you lie in bed. Ah, Josh, funny. Yeah. I, uh, I also uh, don't tell lies. Uh, yeah. You know, okay. Uh, it's not something bad. Else. It's not something everybody well, does. I'm glad that you guys are going to heaven based on your righteousness. Yes. Yeah, that works out. Well, yes. yeah, that works. It's always like some straw man, dude. Let's just get to the core. We don't what believe we can work. We don't believe. I, I do. I do still do things wrong, though. It's not yeah. like I don't do other yeah. things wrong. You know, I. I do have uh, faults that I am working on. That's the. That's not the. I do have. I do have th like vices that and bad habits that I need to break. That's not the point, though. Exactly, they're damnable. I can, sins. exactly, I could, and and by the way, and I've and I've committed damnable sins, and I had to confess them, and I had to repent. But what if I didn't repent? You know, even though Neo doesn't lie, he could lie. Yeah, it and it is possible yeah, it that the future he might lie. Yeah. Like, let's but go back to like, the story of Nineveh, where uh, God saw their work, that they repented of their evil ways. Right? Okay. Well, it's all a bunch of work. The Bible says, huh? by grace we're saved through faith and not of ourselves. What is, wait, wait, what, is, to do with you. What, did what did that passage have to do with anything? It says, we're saved by grace through faith and 
no matter what we do, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. And Wait, then what is the next? If you so could, if, if you were going to have no based on do, your belief in Jesus, what? Does it say no matter what we do? Well, I mean, I doubt the King has, James Version says that. I mean, we're it says it, by faith, no matter what we do. It's, but it means not. It says not of yourself. So yeah, no not, matter what yeah, you do. Yeah, meaning no. You you why are you wording it like that though? It means we can't work our way to heaven. We can't achieve exactly. salvation. Exactly. It's yeah, received. We agree with that. It's we're a not. gift from God. Yes. Yeah. We, so where we do we? Agree with that. Where is exactly. the disagreement? I don't, I don't understand. It, no, a yeah, gift exactly. is something you don't work for. No, so like if I gave you a gift, don't, right? don't work for it. Right. I, I don't work for it. pastor taught me that Catholics believe works save you, so... Uh, yeah. So you do believe it, because he right, said right, so. All right, hypothetically, right? <laughs> You've never I give asked you a gift. To believe. Have you noticed that? No, I already know what you believe. You're a Catholic. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, you're, I, I give you a gift. Oh, right, right. Let, let me explain to you. I give you a gift. Powerful. <laughs> well, yeah, you guys are Catholic. It's pretty obvious what you guys believe. So I give you a gift, right? And all of us if are you Catholic. Had, no, no. If I let's say let's say that like I give you guys a gift, and then you guys have to work for it, would it still be a gift? You guys don't so understand no. what a gift is. <laughs> if it's him dude, that worketh dude. not, but believeth. You're Richard. not working for the Richard. gift. The gift is free. We're working because you we have received to maintain the gift. that gift. Exactly. Yeah. Matthew 25. And how do you maintain that gift? But that's not a gift. That's what I'm saying. Ma Matthew 25. Yeah, it definition. is a gift. Once you receive the gift, the Holy Spirit works through you, produces these works, which you are justified by, to prove your faith. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Richard, read Matthew 25. Richard, I, I hope you understand that in the first part of, e of Ephesians 2, it's clearly talking about prior to a state of justification and prior to a state of justification we obviously believe that you don't work for your salvation but once we enter into a state of justification then we must continue to work and that's why ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 the verse right after ephesians 9 where it says not of work so that no one should boast literally the verse after it says for we are is what handiwork work created in christ jesus for the good works so after we so once we enter into a state of justification, then we must continue to work because we are in Christ Jesus. But we agree with you outside of Christ there. We cannot merit anything. We can't work. But once we enter into Christ, then we must continue to work. And that's what scripture says. Mm -hmm. But then we must continue to work. But then it wouldn't be a gift anymore. No, we are. No, no. We are in Christ Jesus. We we have received the gift of the Holy Spirit and Ephesians 10 commands us you know we are his handiwork created in we are in Christ Jesus for the good works we must continue to work once we are in Christ that is what scripture says do you disagree with that yeah to him well, that disagree with scripture I don't, I don't <laughs> no I didn't say any of that stuff <laughs> Ephesians 2 10 would you like me to quote it for you look I'll put it I will type it in for you. Actually, I'll just quote Ephesians 2, 1 through 10, so you can see all of it in context, okay? Like, like I don't know what Pastor Anderson told you, but that's not what we believe. Like, we don't believe that we can work our way to heaven. Like, <laughs> that is a strong Pastor name. Anderson? You guys believe in faith plus works, but the Bible he's makes a, it clear work that faith. you can't believe in Richard, faith Richard, and works. Richard, could, could yeah, you no, name? Yeah, no, the Bible doesn't say that. Richard, it's either faith Richard, or works. Richard, could you name doesn't any? Say that. Wait, wait, Richard, wait. Richard. So you're going to just take out James? Richard. He, they do. They do take out James, yeah, Richard, men, yeah. basically. Richard. James is talking to men, before, talking about justification before men. No, he yeah. says, he sa he's Read talking to no, no. He says, he says, can that faith save him? He's not talking about men. Richard, could he asked the question, yeah. Jesus, so Jesus, 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 Jesus says, Jesus says to the Pharisees, "Why callest thou me good? There's none good except God." So, and you know, what he, he says so after because that, he, if he want to, eternal life to keep the commandments. Oops. Yeah, and then, and then he says, <laughs> oh, "That's all you have. 
You can't. Hey, wait, uh, same, uh, same, same book. Wait, you know wait, who... wait, 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 wait. Even, you, but he was going to give it to you anyways. He just, yeah, uh, right, right. He just like, lied to the says, guy and if, said if, that if, he was no, no, no. There are two ways. Believe in each no, no, no. There are two ways to go to heaven. You, it's either believe the Lord Jesus Christ or keep all the commandments. There's no person well, that's not true. that doeth good and sinneth not. No, that's not that's not true. Well, so, you know uh, who you know who else taught well, Matt, faith Matthew, alone in the People Bible? go to hell, they torture for their yeah, sins. No, Why would they be going well, to hell? That's where, that's where Stephen Anderson is going. We agree. But look, Dang. so let's just get back to the topic. So the Bible multiple times says that works justify you. In fact, there's a quote and even in there, even in the old testament, uh, in the Psalms, which we can we can quote it. There's a person who does an action, and that action is counted to him as righteousness. And, he, and in the Koine Greek, the Septuagint of the Old Testament, it uses the same exact formula, the same exact words that, are, that Paul uses to talk about justification. It says he was justified by a work. Well, the Septuagint Oops. that we have now, I don't think it's this. It's a translation, right? No, I'm talking God about the Greek. Promises about the God promises to preserve like the Hebrew. Dude, he never Greek. does that. He never does that. Oh, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. He where, does he, where does he do that? He says that. Um, uh -oh. Where does he? Where does he say Hebrew? I want to hear. I want to quote the Old Testament where he says, "I will." He might say, "I'll preserve your word," but you realize the the Hebrew we have today is from A.D. The Septuagint we have now is from B.C. Yeah. The only other BC stuff for Hebrew is like in the Dead Sea Scrolls. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Obviously, Martin Luther was infallible when he took out the uh, books. Of well, the what's funny is the yeah, is the yeah. King is the King James translators didn't even believe the things that this guy believes about the King James. They didn't believe yeah. it was an infallible translation. They didn't believe that they were translating the one true word of God above all else. That's not what they believe. That's not what I believe. They either. acknowledge. King they James. acknowledge. They acknowledge the Septuagint. Yeah. yeah, so do I. No, you don't. You wait, acknowledge wait, no, it. You're, oh you're no, no, no! no. I acknowledge the original Hebrew and the original Greek. We That's don't have the point. original. We don't. We don't have the original Hebrew. That's your issue. We don't have no, the original don't. Hebrew. No, we have the Masoretic stream, which is what? AD. It's useful, but it's from AD. The King James. Listen, you obviously don't know what you're talking about, and that's kind of sad because you put so much stock in your false belief system. So I'm going to educate you. Look. The Masoretic text is what the King James uses for the Old Testament. When the New Testament quotes the Old Testament, it never, well, I shouldn't say never, it almost never quotes the Masoretic text. In almost every situation, almost, it quotes the Septuagint, directly quotes the Septuagint. The New Testament authors and the early church valued the Septuagint over the Masoretic. The Masoretic comes from AD. The Septuagint comes from B.C. I don't that think sense. that the Septuagint that we have now is actually the Septuagint that they would have had in front of Jesus. We have them quoting it. That. We have them quoting yeah, it. So yeah, we, well, that's because they, they both have the same part. So the book of Enoch has a quote from no, 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 the no, book no, of no. Jude. That's irrelevant. So we can't, we can't no, say irrelevant. that, like, just because... No, I'm not talking about that. No, you saying sir. that because it quotes, it's quoted in the Bible... The, therefore, no, no, you'll see. Yeah, this not, must be what it's for. No, no. no. And by the way, Enoch. Okay, well, and by the way, Enoch. And by the way, for the book that it quotes, yes, we have that today. We have that quote in First Enoch. That's how we know it's quoting Enoch. So yes, we have the, the Enoch, Enoch that you had. We would have had. We would. It, it. It is though. It very clearly is, and it's in the book of Enoch. So look, we have Enoch, the book, right now. There might have been corruptions later on because it's not part of the canon, but we have parts of Enoch, and Jude certainly had Enoch. There's no doubt about that, or had access or knew about Enoch, or maybe there's a shared oral tradition that instantiates in both the texts. But the point is that the New Testament quotes the Septuagint. We can look at our Septuagint, and then I can show you where they quote it from directly, word for word, yeah. word for I word. Put, put the link in VC text, by the way. So, yeah, the link is right there. By the way, yeah. this is where. Okay, well, I can show you the Book of Enoch where it quotes, where it quotes, <laughs> where it's quoted. In the Book of Jude, you know that it's just literally the same logic. No, no it's, it's not, not the it's same not logic. The same. You have to. How is it it's not? Is because there's a difference. First. The difference. Look, the difference is one is a manuscript and the other is a book. Yeah. So, for example, okay, Paul, well, they're, they're both. All, <laughs> sir. So you don't know what you're talking about, and you need to be educated. And I'm ha We're happy to talk to you about this, but you don't know what you're talking about. And, it, yeah. and you're acting like you do. And I'm not trying to be mean to you. You don't know what you're talking about. You've been brainwashed into a cult. So we're trying yeah. to help you. If you don't want to listen, that's fine. You can leave. So look, very clear. 
there's a difference between Enoch and the Septuagint. Enoch is a specific book that is quoted. Paul also quotes pagan philosophers and, and poets. That's not what I'm referring to. When they quote prophecies, they quote the Septuagint. Yeah. When they quote God-breathed scripture, which is not the King James, when they quote God-breathed scripture, the actual manuscripts, they quote the Septuagint. Elusive Man posted an example. Yeah. Yep, when, he, when he was quoting the book of Enoch, was he not quoting it? The at, Enoch is not dude, part of the Enoch is not part is of the not canon. The same thing. Is Isaiah watch? Is Isaiah a part of your biblical canon? Yeah. Okay. Also, oh, which Isaiah? To, real quick, real quick. He never said as the as uh, Enoch wrote or as it is written by Enoch. He said as it was said by Enoch. Yeah, that's why Here it's, uh, we have as it is written, and so we must see it written in the Old Testament. We have it, and it's not written in your and it's not written in your Old Testament. Right, yes. Watch, look, look at this. So Galatians three thirteen prophecies removed. Galatians Galatians three thirteen. Yep, and that's why you don't even know the Jews are corrupt trying to corrupt your scripture. Galatians three thirteen. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree. Pay attention to that part. It's in the King James. In the Old Testament, for the King James, his body shall not remain all night upon a tree, upon the tree, but thou shalt in any wise bury him that day. For he that is hanged is accursed of God, that thy land be not defiled, which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance. Now, look, now we're going to read the Septuagint of Deuteronomy 21-23. His body shall not remain all night upon the tree, but ye shall by all means bury it in that day. For everyone that is hanged, hanged on a tree is cursed of god and you shall be by no or you sh you shall be or sorry <laughs> whatever the rest of the quote the, the on the tree part is important the on the tree part is what is, is important what I'm about to go about deuteronomy 21 23 and his yep. body shall not remain all night upon the tree but that's in the bible what are you talking about no no no, no. so the second part buddy where yeah, it's look talking at about text. he who is he who is cursed and hanging in the first part of the king james it's it says he shall not remain upon the tree all night that's not the part we're talking about we're talking about the next part where it goes on to say but thou shalt in any wise bury him that day for he that is hanged is accursed of god so, okay Richard, but if but you go to deuteronomy 21 23 in the septuagint it says for everyone that is hanged on a tree is accursed of god and what galatians is talking about is cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree <laughs> okay, so yeah. check this out richard this one is really damning this they get crazy, crazy. This one gets intense. Watch this one. He is, he is, he is Jesus, by the way, Locks. So you have no argument. Watch, with him. Jesus. Watch, Jesus. watch this. Check this out. Isaiah 7, 14. Look at that. Look at that one. Oh, can I mention something real quick, too? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, woe, unto you, woe unto the scribes and the Pharisees, not just the Pharisees. Yeah, Locks is, Locks is deceiving himself. I'd rather talk to Richard. Honestly, I yep, don't take... woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. That's right, scribes. There's a reason why you are scribes. You are. There's a very specific well, reason. so well, Richard. You know, it's funny. Um, we have an early church father who talks about what the uh, satanic, idol worshiping Jewish uh, hellbound heretics were doing. Right? We actually we we have writings. Justin Martyr actually tells us about Isaiah seven fourteen. Do you know what he says about Isaiah seven fourteen? Wait, what about this? Let's stay on the topic of the hanging yeah, this, tree. This, this is this. Oh, hanging on a tree? Okay, you want to stand yeah. up? Yeah, no, but look. Look at the verse I posted. Deuteronomy 21, 22 to 23. It's right there. Where does it... Okay, look, buddy. I'm not talking about the first mention of tree in 23. I agree with you that the first part, his body shall not remain all night upon the tree. I agree that that says tree. That's not the part that Paul is quoting. Yeah. He's quoting the part that talks about being cursed. Yeah. In that part of Deuteronomy 20, uh, 21, 23, it's just saying that he won't be on the tree all night. Right? Yeah. I'll get a damning, damning one. Like yeah, get, a, one that get, is a, get a more explicit Get a more explicit yeah. one. I mean, these are explicit, but in order to deny it, you know. Yeah. yeah. The, the Isaiah 7, 14 one makes me mad. Well, yeah. Isaiah 7, 14, can, you can actually still make... Funnily enough, even though the uh, satanic idol-worshipping Jews, uh, even though they... Who are hellbound, by the way... Uh, even those Jews, <laughs> even those Jews know. Even, even those, those Jews know. It's funny because you can still use the Masoretic <laughs> to argue against their position because oh, you yeah. can actually still argue from the Hebrew that it means virgin. I mean, it, it's an obvious point. Out I mean, that it, yeah, young woman, a young woman who is not a virgin would be a what? A whore. But no, the. Um, but Neo. Um, yeah, 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 Neo's last. 
<laughs> that we were held on. I don't like oh. that lock guy. I think he's dishonest. I think he's a liar. I, uh, Richard, Richard, I, I think, uh, is, is earnest in his belief. I was, um, I almost spit my drink out when you said that. Yeah, like Richard. Yeah, yeah. like Richard. Yeah, ri no, Richard, I don't want yeah, it yeah. to come off like we're being mean to you, because trust me, there's people I actually don't like, and Lox happens to be one. I love him, but I, I don't like him. I think he's dishonest. I think he's, <laughs> I think he's honestly a scumbag. But We, we love him, but we just hate No, kidding. <laughs> you, you know, I can at least call you a Christian to some extent. So it's, you know, it's not a... I don't think you're correct on everything, but and I don't definitely don't think your religion is true fully, but, you know... You have enough truth in there to where I could consider you a Christian, but Lox is just a damn. I don't know character. about that for me. I'm not sure. Does about he that. not believe in the Trinity? You said three entities. Uh, maybe his understanding is just wrong, but he at least tries. Um, um, yeah. I'm so yeah, sure. there's a few of these that are really damning. Yeah, check that one I posted. Like, there's no, there's no way around it. Where are you guys getting these pictures from? Uh, these are. This is from a document, a document that we composed. But you can quote the ver watch. Like, use the Bible bot and just quote the verses. Oh no, I believe that they're quoting them. Oh right? yeah, there's a doc. There's a document um, that that our friend Neo here made. I can yeah, actually. It's in, the, it's in the apologetics channel. Do you want to look at it? Yeah, I sent it to you. I'll, I'll, Richard. I'll repost it in here too. It's that PDF. Which, by the way, I'm gonna save that. Like, because I keep, I save it and then delete it. Every yeah, time yeah. I <laughs> Yeah, Neil gonna, did a good job. I I have some stuff on baptism actually. Cool. I'm going to. I want to uh, put it in there. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll put it in there. I'm gonna put more stuff in this thing. By the way, uh, Richard, this is the Septuagint versus the Masoretic. MT is Masoretic text. Alex and that's the text the King James uses. Yep. For and the King text. James translators, by the way, in the translators forward or translators uh, note thing their intro they say jesus christ and the apostles used the greek septuagint and that they were just using the masoretic because it was popular so yep that's i can get that for you too that's in the 1611 version no one really has a 1611 today they have a 1769 so, i know yeah i think richard's yeah, uh, honest, honest I don't know what you're talking that. about obviously the douay reams version is the true version of the well, Bible. Do I, I think richard's sympathetic to the douay reams aren't you richard i just like that it quotes galatians 316 right in the old testament where it's uh because it says to abraham and his seed where the promise is made not to abraham and his descendants but every fake bible version says descendants but the douay reams like, actually gets it right Every it's time what I like about the Anderson Knights is anti-Jew. <laughs> yeah, if you're not an anti-Jew, you're just not a Christian. I'm not talking about wait, what? If you're not an, like anti-Jew in the sense of like anti-Talmudic Judaism. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay, yeah. I thought you were talking about. I'm not like, talking about Jews and Hitler. Catholicly, like, no. Sorry, for this. Yeah, I'm not talking even about. Even though they're not even an ethnicity, they're 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 Kazarians. They're not, they're not descendants of Abraham at all. That's another topic. They're the racist. They have an ethno state. They're literally like the Nazis with their ethno state. I, know, ethno I, don't, state. Yeah, I agree. They are. Do you believe the church is the new Israel? Yeah. Definitely. Good. 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 Night. See, this is what we. This makes me happy. That he's I'm not right. dumb? Yeah. Not it right. makes me happy. happy. It basically makes me. Every. Protestant, everyone believed that. It's only like a new uh, brand new no. thing for the Judaized our religion. Well, I'll agree with you on that. Yeah. <laughs> Even the Protestants, they all believe that. No, you know, not of course. Like, he used to, he used, or Josh, he used to believe uh, something different. Yeah, but it's just because it's a, like a common teaching. Like, I talked with him. Like, that's what happened earlier. I talked to them about, like, the uh, the mid trib rapture, or pre or post trib, technically because it says after that tribulation. Yeah, night of Christ. You guys don't even like believe in the rapture. The pre, and stuff like the that. pre trib, like, like, well, the the rapture is a doctrine that came about in the eighteen thirties. Of course, I don't believe it. I don't know. I don't even know what the rapture is supposed to be. Honestly, in most um, it's supposed to be read, read, like, read Matthew twenty four. It says the sun and moon is going to be darkened. And then the we are which alive and remain shall be caught up to the air. We shall forever be with the Lord. That, that's in Second Thessalonians chapter two, actually. Yeah, that but you see, the Catholics and Orthodox preach something completely different about the end times. Not completely. They say we're in the millennium right now. 
But the, the rapture doctrine is completely different from what was actually taught. I don't believe this idea that we're currently in the millennium because Revelation 20, verse 4, I think it is. Isn't that what the and Catholic I've, Church believes? No, that dude. dude I'll tell, tell you, Stephen Anderson, do not listen to him. He's uh, literally okay, making well, stuff up. They don't teach it. We don't believe the stuff that he says we believe. No, this isn't. This isn't from Anderson. This is from a Catholic. Who? Oh, a Catholic. Well, well, you know, okay. Yeah. So that's what it's I'm possible. trying to verify. Yeah, one Catholic believes it. Doesn't mean every Catholic believes it. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to verify. Oh, yeah, do you guys believe that or not? What do you What do you guys not, believe? So there's no official teaching on it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's it's not, it's so not like a doctrine. The, the it's, it's, wait, what? It's not a doctrine. So you have to understand. So for Roman Catholics, and also Orthodox, Eastern Orthodox, and uh, Oriental, we have an established doctrine and dogma, which means that we there are some things, very fundamental dogmas and doctrines, that we are bound to believe if we are to remain Catholic or Orthodox. We cannot go against those teachings. Uh, it, otherwise, we can disagree about various topics, uh, but if, when it comes to what is established by the apostles, by the church fathers, and, and by the by the councils as the truth, we cannot disagree on those. We cannot differ. That's why, uh, and uh, for for the vast majority, I'd say about ninety nine percent of stuff, uh, the Catholics and the Orthodox agree about m maybe ninety eight percent. So we, you'll generally find us agreeing on everything except a few things, like Mary and uh, papal authority. That's about it. Uh, for Oriental Orthodox, it's also Chal Chalcedon. I've uh, been reading about that. So in short, there's no official teaching uh, from the Catholic Magisterium on the issue. Um, there are some things, though, like you have to believe that the, the Church is the spiritual Israel and stuff like that. I mean, that's that you have to believe that. Wait, sure. what are we talking about? The end times. Ooh, I love those. When you, when people like you are going to hell, basically. No, no I'm kidding. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, okay. oh, okay. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not sorry. <laughs> well, get the Arabic out of your name. And I mean, you don't like like, you. I mean, he, he, so Richard, I mean, what do you think of the the seven fourteen one? Like when it, when they ch in the Masoretic says the young woman, but in the Septuagint it says a virgin. I mean. What do you think the Jews are trying to do with that? What could they? Po I mean, obviously they're trying to make it, trying to make the put in the idea that uh, whoever that the that the Messiah's mother will not be a virgin because they don't like the idea of acknowledging Saint Mary, right? I mean, you can see that as plainly as I can, right? That's the reason they changed it. Was it so? Alma doesn't mean virgin. I don't know the Hebrew or the yeah. I don't know the Greek. If you look at the thing I the thing I posted, it says young woman. And if you look on the Chabad or the or the Orient or, or the Orthodox Jew websites, they will always say the young woman instead of the virgin. Because they don't want to acknowledge the virginity of Mary. And that's why they altered the Masoretic. Well, young women in those days yeah. are also assumed to be virgins because that's just, yeah, but that's, just, that's there's a reason why they changed it. Yeah, they changed they changed it to not be a virgin, to not as explicitly a, be a virgin, for yeah. a very specific yeah. reason. I mean, if it, it did, it, you could even make an argument there. I mean, I know they would do it. It's kind of stupid, but they could say it, maybe it's not a whore. Maybe it's a young woman who's oh, husband died. And was, it, was it Bethula? It was, 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 a, it was a, according to our church fathers, it was the, according to our, and that the so-called Jews changed it from Bethula to Alma. In the Greek, it's Parthenos, which actually just means virgin. Like, it's very straightforward. Virgin. doesn't mean young woman, but virgin. Why wouldn't she just say virgin since it's the Virgin Mary? I mean, obviously they uh, don't want... you. As you're probably aware, Richard, I know you're trying to, you're, you're trying to seek the truth. Trying to seek the truth. You know that every attack against Christianity goes against Christ specifically. Yeah. To deny the divinity of Christ, to deny the truth of the sacrifice, to deny what he did for us. That is what it's all about. And so if you can whittle that down by saying, oh, young woman, not virgin, or little things, are, 
if you can play these types of games. Find this stuff. So did he cut out? No, nah, no. Nah, I think uh, I think uh, Jonathan did, but I hope he doesn't. I hope you don't go, Jonathan, because you're you're helping. Oh, I, I was about to get back to writing something. Okay. Well, I'll just listen in for. Cool. Okay. If you need me, my phone up. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> you can call my lawyer. Nice. His name is Yehudi. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he's also my he's also, hey. he also runs the world. <laughs> well, he's part of the you know world running in the world running business. You know, <laughs> uh, okay, like, so I, I thought you, I thought you said that like it was gonna say like as it say in the scripture and it's gonna quote something that wasn't there. Like, yeah, these, I, these aren't even like a lot of these. They're not even claiming to be scripture that's quoted. Like the people dude, seeing that quote. scene. What? They're clearly quoting the Old Testament, though. Yeah. Like, like, what, what do you think? They quoted just half and then added something to it, like St. Paul? Like when he says, sacrifice an offering you didn't desire, but a body you have prepared for me? Why did he say that he said that? He said God said that. Well, we look in the Old Testament, in your Old Testament, and in the so-called Jewish one, it says, sacrifice an offering you didn't desire, you have opened my ears. Well... Interesting. The part that we need for it to be a messianic prophecy was removed. They removed that. They made about. sure to remove that. Exi uh, exi what do you mean? It's that part's going really in my head. Like a body. Like God. God prepared Jesus. Man. United yeah. himself to a body. Soul and a body. They took that out. Our Septuagint has a wait, wait, wait. Word. So you mean like Jesus' body wasn't actually Jesus, but there's the body prepared? Uh, I don't get it. He created a body for himself. His body's obviously not eternal. It's a human body. <laughs> you got it from the Virgin Mary, the perpetual Virgin Mary. You shouldn't sure like go in like as like, a conception and then like grow and then was, was born. He and he had a wait, wait, what? Wait, 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 hmm? oh, does he mean something else? I, I don't even know. What is saying? A body you've prepared for me. Just saying, like you guys know who prepared. we need here. We need he the are, are you sure that this is about like uh, God the Father preparing Jesus to die because he's like the Lamb slain before the foundation Dude. of the world? Or I don't like even that. care what it's. I don't know, but what it's saying, it's not saying it in your Bible. It's actually gone. But Saint Paul quoted it. Meaning it must exist in the Old Testament somewhere. It does exist in ours. He didn't quote it. That. Richard, it sounds like you've read the Bible more than I have. And um, I think you probably... No, Matthew, don't get Michael in here. He gets weird. <laughs> he, 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 Please. Please get him. Oh, he, him. Okay, he wrote, I deleted it. He on brands, man. Anyway. Um, yes. It's a script. The, I hate it. He, he literally, it, like, he, he just tell. He's I, just, know, I like it. I like him. It's just that he never stopped. Anyway, the um, what was I saying? Oh, some, I was saying something. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you you've read the Bible more, more than I have. You've obviously come across the times where you saw the apostles, like Paul, or you read the Gospels, and you saw when it, the Old Testament was quoted. And then you couldn't find that exact quote in the Old Testament with the Masoretic, with the King James Version. That, and, and I bet you even looked. Because if you're like anything like me, and you didn't find it. I did that too. Well, those quotes you were, that I'm, I'm sure that you were looking for, they're in the Septuagint. They're not in the Masoretic. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm talking about? I mean, no, I haven't really found anything that I haven't... Like, a lot of it, some of the things I, I guess I haven't really taken the time to look for. I don't know, I'll take time right now. Scripture, okay. Scripture say it. It's very humble. It doesn't say the same... Very... Yeah, I agree. It doesn't say the same thing. I mean, I remember I was... I remember I was... I would. And by the way, I, I, I put it away in the back of my mind because I was like, okay, well, maybe I'm just missing something. But... I would see parts where, and uh, I, I would see parts where Jesus would 
say something that was from the Old Testament or the gospel would say something from the Old Testament, and then I would not be able to find okay, that. Okay, well, like the, the first Testament. thing here, the scripture was fulfilled, but saith, and he was numbered with the transgressors. And it's quoting Isaiah 53, right? He was numbered with the transgressors, and he bare the sins of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. So th there's a quote. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm not saying that uh, the Masoret doesn't have any of the quotes, but like for example, with uh, let's see here. Give me a verse that's like I mean, it's, this is said in the Bible, because like okay, so like for example, for like, example, example, like it, Hebrews one eight, for for uh, he saith, the thy throne, O God. Is, for unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is thy kingdom. I'm just fine for seeing my pants out. I don't know if this is quoted. But if you could find me like a quote like that. How about Mark uh, chapter 7, verse 6 through 7. And that is... And he's quoting uh, in Mark. That's a quote from the Old Testament. See if you can find that quote in the Masoretic Old Testament. I bet you can't. The book of Isaiah. He's quoting Isaiah 29. He says, He answered and said unto them, Well hath Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Wherefore the it, Lord and, saith, For as much as these people draw near me with their mouth and their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear towards me is taught by precept of men. Isaiah 29, 13. That says, that says something different from what it says in Mark. Mm -hmm. in the Septuagint, I mean, in the Septuagint, it's word for word. Mark, Mark, says, what chapter What was chapter in Mark again? Uh, chapter 7 of Mark. Verse 6 through 7. Okay. You see the difference? It's not the same thing. Septuagint, it's word for word. I don't know if... Uh... Put it in BC. Were you talking about Michael Aquinas or something? Uh, I just. Uh, A bigo. Yeah, 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 too long. Yeah, he taught. He, he, no, he's a nice guy, yeah. and I like talking to him. But he 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 hijacks conversations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He knows a lot. I don't. He knows really knowledgeable, but no, you yeah, can tell like, that no, he's not he's interested in having a, a conversation. He wants to win in debate, and that's not going to yeah, edify anybody. So. I don't know if he does Maybe. that entirely on purpose. Yeah. I think he's just a yeah. huge, I think he's just a huge nerd. <laughs> yeah. Which is good. That's it's yeah. just fine. No, it's because he wants to justify himself before men. I hate that guy. No, I'm kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> no, I no, I do like. <laughs> no, I, like I like my. No. Being a In debater. Same way, I hope that all he never repents. You know, I like him too. No, I'm kidding. Hey, wait! What are you thing. talking about? If the devil repents; he can still make it into heaven, according to uh, just Richard. faith alone. <laughs> yeah. No, wait, 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 wait! He doesn't have to repent. Yeah. He just needs to believe. I don't want to change the subject, but I want to ask Richard something. But you know, but I want y'all to keep going if y'all. Oh, sure. I think we have a stopping point. What do you want to say? Yeah, um, I'm I'm just curious. So do you believe that Mary is the mother of God? No. Okay, then who Is did Jesus she God? give birth to? Uh, 
I had a good answer for this. I can't uh, think of it right now. I mean, you could just give us the uh, substance of you know, like if, like it, what you believe. It okay, yeah. doesn't have to sound good. Right, yeah, if if Mary yeah. is not the mother of basically, God. Basically, God didn't like come into being in Mary's womb. She uh, didn't like create Mary. Or she didn't like create person. Jesus. No one believes that, but she's yeah, still no the mother one, of no God because Jesus is God. Yeah, the yeah. doctrine. And Jesus had a mother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, this one freaked me out. Look at, you know, look at that one. The Bible says she's the mother of the Lord. So yeah. the Lord is another divine title. Right, yeah. You know, St. Elizabeth says in Luke chapter 1, Who am I that the mother look of the Lord shall come unto me? How yeah. insane. How that. is that right there? Look at how much they cut out. What What is that? Look at, look at. Richard, you see this? Look at that. Richard, look at that in VC Tech. Look at how much they hey, cut I'll out. I'll show you something right from the book of Job if you really want your mind to be blown. There's a, you know the verse that says, curse God and die? Job's wife said that to Job. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, should yeah. see what the Septuagint says. There's like a, it says way more than that. So you actually know what she means by that. It's not curse God and yeah, die. Not. You're like, whoa, what the, what was that about? Yeah, I thought like maybe a demon was speaking out of her or something. <laughs> I was just thought that. That was my theory. Wow. Mary yeah, was the mother of Jesus, but the right, Jesus right. Especially yeah. speaking, he wasn't right. Uh, okay, no. So Richard, I'm I'm gonna give right. you a very simple syllogism. Okay, Jesus is God. Mary mm -hmm. gave birth to Jesus. Therefore, Mary is the mother of God. That's a fear took us. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's. And of course, we. That's the very simple. That's the very simple syllogism. If the first two premises are true, that Jesus is God, and that Mary gave birth to Jesus, it necessarily follows that Mary is the mother of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that simple? Mm -hmm. And if you say that she's not the mother of God then you run into trouble of denying the divinity of Christ because who did she give birth to if she's not the mother of God? Then you fall into mm. historianism, right? Or Arianism. Yeah, I actually think, uh, I actually heard that that's the kind of stuff the historian was saying. Right. Right, so we, we, we say that Mary... I learned some interesting Mary, stuff about yes, yes, so we say that Mary is the mother of God to protect the truth about Jesus Christ, that he is God. Right. right, bro, Richard. Just I'm, I'm telling you, look at the one I just posted, like the three twelve one and the Psalm fourteen three one. I mean, that one is in your face, man. Like, what do you think of that? Isn't that nuts? They cut out everything. That is evil. Yeah, they just that... replaced it with the word filth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Dude, you know one of the verse they changed to Jews was here. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so, where is this uh, Septuagint? Uh, how do we know that it's from uh, BC? Because the New the Testament quoted it. Yeah. And also because we have been talking back about it. Yeah, also no, church, 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 well, yeah. how do you know that this isn't quoting the apostles? How do you know the Septuagint, they didn't just like write in a bunch of garbage or something? Wait, wait. Yeah, we yeah. have the Septuagint. We actually have the Septuagint. We actually have the physical Septuagint and it is stored and it is that old. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and that so, is, and it's, yeah, I mean, so uh, that's pretty awful so, quoted. Uh, we uh we call the Septuagint the LXX because seventy Egyptian scholars uh, translated it into convention. The Egyptian Jews and the Hellenistic Jews used Septuagint, while the Pharisaic Jews and the Sadducees Jews used the uh, the uh, Masoretic. <laughs> so the reason why Jesus came to you know that section of the Jewish religion and not the other ones. Mm, wow. Nice. Uh, that's amazing. Hmm. Pharisees rejected him. Yeah. 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 I mean, I mean again, woe unto you, scribes, Pharisees. Mm. Why would he say that? Yep. Scribes yeah, why would he call them the scribes? 
And um, in, in the good part is this too, Richard. Our church fathers, of course, this, this is history. They tell us about them corrupting the manuscripts. And we can see it right here. You know why we use the Septuagint? Because we have to. We see that Jesus, God himself did. We see that the Apostle Paul did. St. Mark did. Et so whenever people say, oh, well, you These know, what do you have against gay people? They get so I say not, absolutely nothing. Like, I love look gay at that people. one in Romans I'm gay. 3. Or they say, do you not think that's that big base of red pill, though? Like, the, the, the beard? You know? I want them to be happy yeah, as great. much as I'm happy. You know? What I don't want them to be is a filthy fact. That Romans 312 one is evil. I mean, God, this one's hilarious. Oh, no. What is it? John, Jonathan, I gave you that video. You were, hey, but what I don't want them to be. <laughs> it's a filthy faggot. Oh, that is horrible. Um, no, it's really not. Does anyone here have the clip of him? Does anyone here have the clip of him t saying "Let God burn them"? I can't find it anywhere. That original quote. I, I just despise Steven Anderson. He's just. Mm -hmm. He's bad. How do people actually like? Are people's brains just wired that way? Like, I, I don't understand. What do you mean? Wired what way? You don't like this? We've got a test subject no. right here for you. No! text? Why? I don't, I don't go out calling people slurs based on their... I don't do that. Okay, well, no, God just... called it. Well, why did God call them dogs? Why is he calling them a slur? That's so mean. I don't think dogs is a slur. I think that's just some, something okay. you generally use to describe that. But the but, actual so, but, that's name, but evil. You think it's name calling though, right? Like if you so if I say you're a you're a piece of dung or something. Yeah, but uh, I'm calling I, you names. Yeah, but if I saw someone call a derogatory term, just, I mean, just a slur. You know where the F slur comes from? It comes from um, in Britain. They would, they would they would get these um they would get these these bisexuals right, and they would bundle them up, put them on a train track, and it would burn them alive, and they called it a faggot. Yeah, but that's that's awesome. Is that's what God wants them to do. That's that's Dang. God's will. All right, let's what? talk about the Septuagint. Let's talk about the Septuagint. No, honestly, like <laughs> honestly, like none of you guys were there at the time. You don't know. You guys just treat history like it's infallible. We point back no. to history uh, to say no, we this tried. is why we should <laughs> believe the church. Yeah. Saint Saint King, King James. James. The King James is a product of that history, one. my guy. Wait, wait until you hear a King James version was made by Anglo Catholics. It doesn't matter who it's made by. It, it, does, of it absolutely does because these the translators didn't don't agree with. Look, it's absurd. Like imagine if someone writes a book, right? Or they translate a book, and I have this conception: this book was the one that's like the the infallible, preserved word of God. And then the person who translates it says, um, no. That's not what I was intending to do when I wrote that. That's not what it is. You can't. They definitely the were intending to translate the Word of God. No, they were, but they didn't think it was the infallible, only valid translation or manuscripts that they based it off of. They acknowledged the Septuagint. They just, and as Neo said, they only yeah, used they were wrong. It was popular. You, then why are, why are they not wrong when they translate the the actual words, but they're wrong about their own translation? Yeah, and was Saint Paul wrong when he was quoting from it? What, like I mean, he's clearly doing. You're looking at it and just you look. You're doing the equivalent of like when there's a serial killer in your house and you're a little kid. I think this is Tugent is probably like, quoting no, Paul. Paul. You cover your eyes. I don't know though. I'll, I'll look. At, I'll look into this more. I'm not going to say anything oh. else. I would say that like it, it's kind of silly to just have your faith in history Dude, though. Set, set, have your faith in God. We have our faith in Bible and the church, nope. which which Jesus said is the pillar and ground of truth. He didn't That's say right. the Bible was the pillar and ground of truth. It's the church is the pillar and ground of truth. Can I can I make one final statement? Just, just want to ask. Can I get the can I get the link to the Pastor Anderson icon? I'll buy that. <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I, I will prostrate. I'm gonna prostrate before it and everything. No, is this awesome. actually on there? Yeah, yeah, real. That is, yeah. That's Give it to me. Link it to me. KJV IFB. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be fake. That's gonna be fake. Oh no, it is. Yeah, it's not really on there. Well, but I, I just want to ask you something. Yeah. Look, I want to ask you something, Richard. So. We both of us have the same New Testament, right? I'm, I'm guessing Baptists use the same, same New Testament. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you believe our New Testament, you know, is the Word of God, correct? That is the Word of God. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The Greek. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this New Testament was assembled by a council that was held by the church, correct? And in order uh, for this to be the Word of God, 
wouldn't the council? It was actually it, no, no, it was spoken by the mouths of the prophets, and that's why it's the word of God. It doesn't matter. The New Testament. Okay, so like, let's say Talk Pastor Ann. New Testament. Let him finish. The Old Testament. New Testament. New Testament. Yeah. The New Testament was assembled by the church. Wouldn't the church have to be inspired to by God to assemble the correct canon that we both had? Otherwise, because the church assembled our New Testament, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, it's a historical fact. Like that's a historical it's fact. Absolutely. So you're so indirectly you're putting your trust into the church, even if you don't know it. And the yeah. church, by this logic, has to be inspired by God in order to give us the word of God. Do you understand? Yeah. You can't no. just throw out the church because in that council, there was not just the Bible put together. Just so like, you know. like, let's say, um, just say any like heretic that, that like uses the Bible, and let's say that they were the ones that uh, they, they 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 say that they compiled the Bible. Just because someone says that they compiled the Bible, it wasn't. It didn't like start being the Bible. Whenever they compiled it, it's always been the Bible. Well, no, yeah, no, yes, it is. No one's ever had that compilation of books, though. Yeah, no Some one were using. Them yeah, them but those other books stuff. individually were all treated like scripture, even if they didn't no. have the whole thing. No, no. Okay, no, so, so I, Matthew, I Mark, wrote, Luke, and John were not scripture. No, no, exactly. Actually, that's true. I, I just wrote an entire essay, eleven pages long, on this. Marcion, the first ever canon of scripture of the New Testament, was the was the uh, canon of Marcion. Marcion throughout all of the general epistles kept only kept Paul's epistles and made up his own gospel called the gospel of Christ. Wow. And essentially he edited a version of the gospel of Luke and called it the gospel of Christ. And that was the only gospel in it. That was the first ever canon of the new Testament was Marcion's canon. And he was a heretic who believed in two gods, the old Testament God and the new Testament God. And he believed that he believed the old Testament God was evil and he believed the new Testament God was good. Again, the first ever canon was made up by a heretic. And we know and the reason why we have the correct canon is because of the church. There's a reason why there's a council convened. It was to stop people from reading this Marcion canon or the Sibelian canon or anything else like that. No, it was, it was to institute the Catholic reading. Church as a state religion. Yeah, the Catholic Dude. Church made your Bible. Do you understand? It was to stop people from reading the apocalypse of the apocalypse of Mary or the the Epistle of Eve and all these other weird texts that didn't belong in the, in the New Testament. Yeah. The okay. So, but generally speaking, people were using the Bible, though, no, right? No, they, they oh, weren't. They were. There's a reason. There's a reason why there is a council because people did not have the same scriptures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. do, do you think this council convened by like majority and they said yes, three hundred bishops, okay. I believe, attended the Council of Nicaea. So wouldn't so when, it, when, when, when it, so wouldn't it stand to follow that like. They're, if they're basing it on uh, what the majority of people are, are accepting as scripture, that the, the majority of people were reading it as scripture uh, before the council. That's that's why they said this no, is scripture. No, no, no. the oh, okay. church decided what was the scripture because because people were reading the wrong scriptures. Yeah, it's they were the reading the wrong scriptures. Majority, mostly because... reading the right ones, right? No. Okay. Well. Then why did they randomly choose the, the randomly canon we have now? The, do, they didn't the bishops were choose. scholars. They called in scholars that looked at the historical facts and looked at the church fathers from the first, second century and what books were mentioned. Uh, they, they called in the church way. leaders. It was all it was all the church leaders. Yes, the bishops of the church. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. So the, uh, those church leaders were teaching churches, right? And yeah. so it stands to follow that what they would recommend as but scripture in this council is what their parishioners were reading, right? Not always, because even Arius was uh, altering scripture to say that Jesus wasn't God, and he had a very large following in the church. That's why there's a church council to convene an infallible teaching of what the canon is. Because there are bishops within the church teaching something wrong. That's why. And they were getting a large, large following. That's why we have people like Athanasius, like... Um, St. Nicholas and those people who fought against these heretics like Arius or Sibelius or, you know, um, uh, I forgot his name. Um, but a, a lot of other heretics in the church are getting a very large following. You don't, know, you don't have your canon without the church. You would not have the Bible without the church. If the church never held a council to declare into the infallible canon of scripture, we would have, all of us would have different Bibles. 
all of us would have different bios. No, I think the world would. I think we'd be, I think we'd be in space by now because we went through the dark ages. Okay, that's not that's not my point. That's not what I'm trying to get across, man. Like yeah, that's a joke. Obviously, no, it's not a joke. The Catholic Church put us through the dark ages. They oh. literally oh. killed millions okay. of people. All right. All right. Let's get to the Septuagint again. Can Let's get back to the Septuagint. All right, no, uh, uh, here, I'll, I'm going to look some stuff up, right? Okay. But what do you yeah. think I've about heard, right I've now? heard Pastor Anderson say in passing that he doesn't believe the Septuagint that we have now is the Septuagint that they were quoting. And, you know... Mm. I, why, though? I haven't... Yeah, I don't know why. You're not sure? Okay. Yeah. So, it's just, you remember... this. By the way, I'll tell you, this is what brought me away from Protestantism and into Christianity. This is what, you know, brought me out of uh, a mixture of things. I said the King James is the best version there is. Now I say, yeah, I will never use the Old Testament to the King did James, you but the New Testament is... Um, I did in 2000... In 2017. And I think um, it was kind of a struggle getting rid of it. Because it was, it was so hard to get my mindset away from that. But then I opened my eyes and I saw it all over the place in the scriptures. Especially the Old Testament. So, I mean, the Old Testament is just so clear. Um, the people that like, lost now, their salvation? Yeah, the pe they were they were holy people, good people, and they damned themselves. So, uh, I mean, we see it first in the apostates, the Pharisees. You know, it started with, with someone. But, uh, anyways, um, so, what was I going to say? Yeah, the Septuagint, when I discovered that the Septuagint is actually the real Old Testament, that led me to this other truth, and I said, dang, well, this is weird, now I have to accept all these other books. And then I started remembering all the things that Stephen Anderson was quoting from these other books, I'm like, the Book of Maccabees... You know, it says it's like just an opinion or something, which is it's not true. Um, this is Tobit, the end of it. oh, it says that thing, uh, or I'm sorry, Wisdom of Sirach, you know, the stuff that Stephen Anderson was quoting from that. Okay, no Expl wisdom, explain, like, to me, explain to me how Second Maccabees is not saying it's just some dude's opinion in the end of it. I, I need to look into that personally. But he is it trying does. to make it seem like it's saying something that's not. It does. Like it does. Say, it I says. Say, it say, says. Paul like, said, "In my opinion." Da, 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 then he said, "Then he writes his opinion." I mean, if that was in our one of our books that you didn't have, you'd be saying the same thing about Saint Paul. So that's just a fact. James two and twenty four. If you didn't have James because Martin Luther was successful in throwing it out of the Bible, you'd say, "Look, they believe in works based salvation." Look at James two twenty four. I mean, so, so you got to remember that because for everything you bring up, I'll show you stuff. In our mutual books. Anyways, it led to this. I said, dang, I have to accept these other books. And then that led yeah. me to church history. And, you know, finally to the true faith. What's up? Random question not related to anything biblical. Are, are you white or like an Egyptian Habibi? Am I white? I'm Sicilian. Yeah, so white, I guess. Oh, uh, I thought he was a Habibi. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I wouldn't say that, but I guess, you know, technically. Oh, okay. Semitic. Dang. That means you guys can't say anything against me. Because you'd be anti okay. no, Watch this. See? Watch this. I will be anti Semitic. Nice. So <laughs> close. <laughs> Okay. So what's the discussion now? Nothing. Let's talk about Mary. All right. All right. All right, all right. <laughs> why? Why isn't the the Autocephalous Church of Ukraine not based, or the Orthodox Church of Ukraine not based? Because Ukraine is a terrible country. I hate Ukraine. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they. Uh, Russia. Um, they they uh, did it. They did it. They they did it for purely political reasons. I'm pretty sure. If I remember correctly. Yeah, and no, I think most of the priests were like self. Appointed or something? I don't know about that. I don't know anything about that. I'm not sure. I think, I think they might have. I, I, I think I don't think that's it's, it's probably not that far. I just think it's 
political. Why hasn't the Pope fully excommunicated the Mafia? Because the Mafia runs the papacy. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Pretty sure. I think there are a few of a few popes who did do that. I'm not sure though. Yeah, well, there was a certain dynasty of popes who did. I forgot they're called the Borgias, right? Yeah, Borgias. Or was that the artist? <laughs> yeah, they weren't based. They, uh, weren't based. they, they, they. Uh, I'm pretty sure that there were there was a few popes who excommunicated the whole mafia, and then they got they had to avoid assassination. <laughs> Hmm. Kind of yeah, weird. then the mafia like try to blow up a church or something. I don't know. The they've tried, they've done a lot of weird stuff. Nah, they're too loyal to the church for that. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what the mafia has been doing in Italy these days. I mean, look, look, the Italian mafia the way it used to be is gone. I will tell you that. It got usurped by what the CIA was doing. It used to be different. Uh, it, it was never moral or any good or anything like that. But they used to be more separate from like the CIA spooks and stuff. And I'm pretty sure they're not. They're like the same thing almost now. I love, I love mafia history. I, I just like. I, they're like actually like organized gangsters, which are hard to find these days. It's kind of cool to look at. Okay, I mean, like, like uh, okay, the, the whole curse on a tree thing. Like literally, it, it's saying the same thing. I don't know why, because you think it's a more literal, like, exact Perfect. quote. What do you mean? They have the same, where it says, he that is hanged is accursed of God. It's obviously talking about being hanged on a tree, because that's what the whole context is. You know, like the verse before, man is the same worthy of death, and he put the death, there. they're hanging him on a tree. Yeah, the, the meaning is there, of course, but yeah, the so actual fine. quote, what were they quoting? When he says, as it is written, do you believe he was paraphrasing the verse? Or if it's divinely inspired and he quoted it? Well, they're both divinely inspired. So if, you say, if, if you say, he that is hanged is a curse of God, and he that hangs on a tree is a curse of God, you're saying the same thing if the context is saying that when we're talking about the hanging, we're talking about hanging on a tree. That's the same yeah. exact meaning. All right. All right. So let's. And a lot of these are like that. Uh, I'll give that to you. So let's. I really want you to try and tell me how Romans three twelve is a thing. Yeah. Romans three twelve. I I like, yeah I'll repost. Tell me uh tell me how there's no problem here. Tell me how the Masoretic here is the same. Can you guys hear my keyboard? No, I can't hear it. You're good. Just barely. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, thanks. So check this out. Why I put the Greek word there for good for nothing and for unprofitable is because the English translation matches up perfectly except for that part. So I actually went to the Greek and saw it is the same Greek word. I looked at the Greek manuscript. It is a word-for-word -word quote. Just showing how the saints... We're looking at the Septuagint. They use they even use the same Greek words. It means they were looking at the same thing. You know. Yo, good question. So, Why is the Catholic censor chain so long compared to Orthodox? We get swinging. We get the swingy value. One hand swingy, more smoky. 
Oh. <laughs> During the mass? Yep. That's because we're the true church. I don't know. Oh, no. Have you seen the Episcopalian sensors? They're, they're huge. Like, they're just like, they're like nunchucks. Like, they're really? Like, they're just, like super long chains. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they're like, they swing them around like, um, like, 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 like they're nunchucks. Dang. <laughs> I wonder why that developed. I mean, I can, uh, I don't, I don't see why there would be a problem.